With the transition plies feature, you can change the contour of one or multiple plies. Let's zoom in to the area here and look at the light and dark blue plies. When we create a transition feature, we'll first have to select the ply or plies that we want to work on. In this case, we will select all four. The system will then automatically highlight the common edges of these plies in yellow. In this case, all edges are equal, but that is not necessary. As long as there is one common edge, you can apply the transition. In this case, we are on the profile setting and I can pick one edge, maybe enter 20 millimeters. And the system will change the contour for all of these plies with the descending or ascending profile setting making them step in 20, 40, 60, etc. If we switch to custom, you have control over this as you prefer yourself. You can make anything something like this. If we now come back to the profile setting and we choose the ascending profile, with, these, with this offset and maybe change it to the full loop, you will notice in the section that the plies will step in, ascending meaning that it starts off with the smallest ply at the bottom and drapes the other ones over it. If we redefine the transition and change it to descending, the opposite happens. The large ply will be at the bottom and the small ones will be stacked on top of it. We've now changed the contour of these plies, avoiding a sharp drop and smoothly transitioning into the eventual thickness. This is the transition plies feature. Thank you.